Okay, so we're going to start with a new document, and this video will be showing you guys how to draw the dice, which we are assigning in the intro class. So we're going to start from a top view, and we're going to go start a sketch. We're going to do that on the top plane. I'm going to hit P for plane because I don't like to see those extra planes there. I'm going to go to a center point rectangle, which we got our little drop down over here where we select that. And we're going to hover over the point of origin until it highlights and drag a rectangle size does not matter at this point. We're going to hit dimension, which is up here or your D key. And we are going to click on the bottom, drag down. We're going to make this six inches, six enter. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side, click, drag, click six, enter. Okay, now we have a six by six square green check to finalize this sketch. And we're going to go to extrude up here. Now we're going to make that one inch, or I mean six inches, excuse me. And we're going to click on our sketch that we just did and go green check. Now, if we look here, we should have a square, a box. Let's go back to the top again. And so now we're going to do another sketch. This time, instead of sketching on a plane, we are going to sketch on the surface that we just extruded. So we're going to click on the top of this side. We're going to go to a center point circle. We're going to use that point of origin in the middle, drag a circle around there. Then we're going to go dimension and we are going to make that one inch. All right. So now we have our first circle on our first side for our number one green check. Now we're going to go and rotate to another side. Now I know there's a specific order that the holes are supposed to go in on dice. I don't know that so order. So we are just going to go at random here and make six sides to this dice with six different numbers. <clears throat> so now we have another blank side. We start a sketch on. We're going to go and select line. And this tool over here, the construction tool, which is a solid line and next to a dotted line with arrows in between them, we're going to hover over this corner, hover over the other corner and hit, I'm hitting escape here, whoops, right click rather and escape line. Um, so I guess I didn't click on the construction tool. So I had to go back and uh, redo it where I clicked on the line, highlighted it, and then selected construction. Um, so now I'm going to go and do a center point circle, and we're going to make this our twos. So we're going to go circle, circle, and I'm going to go up to my constraint menu, and I'm going to pick the equals constraint. You can also just hit the E key, which is what I will do for the remainder of this video. And you click on the first one, click on the second one, it makes them equal to each other. D for dimension, and we're going to go and click on this first one. We're going to make it one inch, one enter, and then we're going to go from the center point of the circle. Make sure it's the center point of the circle and click on the one of the edges here. And we're going to make that 1.5. Um, and make sure it's the center point of the circle. I've seen a number of people uh, make that mistake where they click on the edge of the circle and then they're not putting it from the center. Is from the edge is the dimension they're putting in there. Once again, 1.5, enter. Okay, so now we have the number two side done. Green check. We'll rotate to a fresh side. Whoops. And do another sketch. This time we are going to, once again, do our construction line from bottom corner to top corner from corner corner. Okay. Right click to get out of that escape line. Whoops. Escape line. Okay. Now we are going to put a center point circle again. We're going to drag a circle here at the bottom. We're going to drag a circle right here in the middle. And we're going to put a circle up here. And then we're going to go to our equals tool again. And we're going to click on the first one, the second one, and the second one, and the third one. They are now all equals to each other, D for dimension. And we are going to click on that first one, make it one inch, one enter. OK, 
Okay, we're going to dimension the one inch and a half from the edge, 1.5, enter, and we'll do the same thing up here. 1.5, enter, whoops, back there. So we're gonna go and escape dimension tool, double click on that, 1.5. You can always go back in and edit dimensions. Okay, so now I'm done with side three. I'm going to rotate again and find a blank side. Uh, as you can see, I'm on, now on the opposite side of my um, number two side, and it will it shows up as a dotted um, line, a broken line when you look through it. But that's just kind of seeing it semi opaque. Um, so we've got a sketch going now. On actually, I didn't close that. Close that. Shit. All right, new sketch for this wall. So we're gonna click for there. I'm going to once again do my construction line and I'm gonna go corner to corner again, corner to corner, corner to corner, escape line. Okay. Then I am going to do circles and I'm going to circle here. I'm going to put a circle here. Put a circle here. And put a circle here. E for equals. First circle, second circle. Oops. There we go. Okay, then I am going to do the dimensions. Dimension from there to there. 1 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. One point five, and really, I probably should have constrained them. It would have saved me a few keystrokes here. And then I need to dimension the circles themselves. So we're gonna click there, come out here, make that one, enter, and they all turn to one inch, and they're all in the right place. Green check. All right, let's find another blank side. So we're gonna to go to the left side here. We are going to do a sketch. We're gonna select the surface. We're going to do our cross shaped uh, or our X shaped um, construction lines, corner to corner and corner to corner. Escape line. Um, normally escape works for that as well, but since I'm recording, it messes with the uh, recording if I hit escape. Okay, um, and I'm going to draw some circles. I'm going to stick one here on this line. I'm going to stick one here on this line. I'm going to stick one at that center point. I'm going to stick one over here. And I'm going to stick one over here. Okay. D for dimension. Actually, we're going to go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to undo this. So I'm going to show you guys a different way to do it. So we're going to undo a few of these. Okay, so we got our first circle there. Um, still making circles. I'm going to light up the center of that circle and then come across till it matches up to that line and it will. Whoops. Undo. Go back to our circle tool. Hover to light that up and come on down. Okay. And once again, I'm going to hover over this one and bring it over. And I'm going to put a circle in the very center. 
Okay, now we're selecting E for equals. And we're going to click first circle, second circle, second circle, third circle, third circle, fourth circle, fourth circle, fifth circle. So now they're all equal to each other. We're going to go D for dimension. We're going to hit that, make it one, one inch. And then we're going to set this. one point five from the edge and it automatically moved everything because of the way we constrained them to each other time together with those dotted yellow lines okay we're going green check now so now we should have just one more sketch to do so we're going to go and look at the bottom and so we're going to go sketch again and we're going to click on our um, we're going to click on our top of our surface to make that a, uh, to draw on there. We're going to go and do our construction lines and we are going to go corner to corner again. And we're actually going to put one more in here because it'll just make it easier. Actually, no, it's not needed. So we're going to go circles. So now we're doing six of them. So we're going to go one here. We're going to light up the center and come over this way. We're going to light up that circle and come down this way. There we go. So you want both of them lit up like that. Dodge yellow line coming from both. And that will anchor that there. Then we're going to highlight that. Come down. Light that up. We're going to come across, put a circle there. A circle there. And a circle there. Now we're going to do the equal ski again. Click, click. And once again, we're just clicking on the um, previous one that we've just mentioned and then the next one. All right, now we're gonna hit the D key for dimension. We're gonna make these one inch. We're going to stick them inch and a half away from the edge. Whoops, I, apparently I did not tie this one in, but that's okay. We'll just dimension that one manually. All right, so now we have all of our sides done. Green check. Next thing we're going to do.